Tonight, our cameras visit movie locations in two cities. One very big is New York City. And one not so big, Jackson, Wyoming, nestled deep in the heart of a mountainous vacation land. There is relative quiet here in the man-made canyons that make up the towering Isle of Manhattan. It is 7 o'clock on a Sunday morning in spring. And what better time to start production on the Seven Arts motion picture Sunday in New York, which MGM will release later this year. The city is still half asleep. Fifth Avenue still dozes, waiting for the Sunday strollers and the crowd to visit its famed landmark, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Across the street at Rockefeller Center, the tempo increases as huge brute lights are positioned. As if given a cue, the crowds began to gather, drawn by the police barriers and equipment, to see a free movie. Craning their necks like circus spectators, they watch the camera crew making a high shot of the rink from a platform 20 stories up. A very precarious perch, but a necessary risk that produces a breathtaking camera angle. Down from their bird's eye view of the rink, producer Everett Freeman, director Peter Tewksbury, and their crew make ready for their first shot of stars Rod Taylor and Jane Fonda. Off camera, a hairdresser works feverishly over Miss Fonda, readying her for the scene. With many dramatic roles behind her, the beautiful young actress will play high comedy in Sunday in New York, a film based upon Norman Krasner's Broadway hit. Any camera set up on the street will draw a good-sized gathering of onlookers. But turn on a light, add the number of crew members and paraphernalia of a major Hollywood production, plus putting them in Rockefeller Center, and a gathering becomes a crowd. The skaters they watch could be the old regulars at the rink, but they are all actors who just happen to be skating. Long shots are over, and the sound men are ready. The camera is reloaded. Stars Fonda and Taylor are positioned, and the scene is discussed with Tewksbury before Rowan is heard. Down on the ice, lights go on for another setup. Inside the Cafe Francais, Seven Arts and MGM are hosting a Sunday in New York party for the press. But the crew has no time for parties, and the thousands of onlookers are each having their own party, watching Hollywood at work in their own backyard. It's not so tough to find Mother Nature in New York. All you have to do is travel to Central Park. And what Sunday in New York would be complete without a visit to the boat lake, where the crew sets up for the next day's shooting, unhampered by spectators? Well, not as many this time. Unlike many park visitors, Jane and Rod spent virtually the entire day in a rowboat. And while they float or wait on shore, the routine, matter-of-fact, technical, and hard work business of a movie crew on location goes on. The old army adage, hurry up and wait, is a very apt one in movie making. Moving just one light is a major and very heavy project. Even this preparation is fascinating to the sidewalk superintendent, though the extras out at sea may not be so fascinated. For the female star, making a movie might seem like one continuous hairdresser's appointment. However, photographers find it well worthwhile. The camera and cameramen are ready on their boom, perched above the water. And it's into the boat again for the two stars. And while they get their sea legs, in addition to delivering lines, they take a pleasant afternoon's row around the lake while the camera relentlessly follows them.
countryside of Central Park, the cast and crew return to the civilization of 59th Street and 5th Avenue, where curiosity again has killed the usually blasé New York cast. And young and old, rich and poor, on foot and in car, they are out to see what's going on. At the location, Rod Taylor gives his jacket to the wardrobe man, unaware of a young admirer with stars in her eyes. Not only the would-be starlets are captivated with the proceedings, the fascination and mischievous and time-consuming work of the cast and crew is shared by all those on the sidelines. To the crew, it's merely a job. To the spectators, it's a glamorous life. Oblivious of the crowd, two feature players wait patiently for their call. And even canine stars can have a devoted fan. Despite its interest in apparatus, the crowd is primarily interested in stars. And Jane Fonda doesn't disappoint them as she comes from a portable dressing room to do the next scene. her, an amateur still photographer goes into action, while the professional also prepares his equipment for use. And an inquisitive lady is also briefed by the director of photography. A last-minute check of line. Two critics of the cinema are ready, and it's action. camera follows the picture's two lovers as they stroll through the scene. Spectators and crew hold their breath. Cut! Director Tewksbury would like to try it again. Something is missing. More atmosphere is called for. And what Sunday in New York is complete without some handsome cab? Just right. If only that horse can stay awake during the shot. More waiting. This time for New York's horse and buggy atmosphere. The camera is rechecked. A hand signal from the assistant director means all systems go, complete with extras who need coaxing and horses who know nothing about the screen actors' guild. Makers can't depend on weather, so they take it with them. The script called for a spring shower. So, courtesy of the New York Sanitation Department, it will rain on cue. Despite scriptwriter Norman Krasner's prediction of rain, the hair must be just right. No doubt about it. It looks like rain, and right on schedule, it is pouring. Off they go, wishing their co-star, Cliff Robertson, was in this scene with them. And with this rather damp bit of action, the final scene of the day's shooting is on film. Needless to say, the cast hopes there are no retakes on this one. The crowd, knowing that every cloud has its silver lining, takes full advantage of this calm after the storm to collect autographs. For even amid the concrete mountains of big, blase New York, the Seven Arts MGM filming of Sunday in New York is an exciting event for those on hand to watch. 